Hello everyone, this is Jen with Windance Farm and Earth Education Center. I've been sitting outside on this lovely autumn day watching the birds fly back and forth from the first bird feeder I've hung. Look, one just came by now. I have two empty hooks and I found this really fun craft where you can make a bird feeder using a pumpkin. So I just picked this pumpkin from my garden and I'm going to take half of it to eat and half of it to hang and fill with bird seed for the birds. Once you hang it up, it's really fun to sit outside and watch them come and go. I have my field guide and my binoculars here so I can learn to identify them. And it's really helpful as they migrate through to provide them with some nourishment too. So what you'll need for this craft is a pumpkin, two pieces of rope, a spoon to scoop out the seeds, a knife to cut your pumpkin in half. You might need somebody to help you with that part. They can be kind of tough and we don't want anyone to get hurt. And then two pegs. So let's get started. All right, so I cut my pumpkin in half and scooped out the seeds. I'm gonna take these yummy seeds inside and roast them in the oven along with the other half of my pumpkin because I love pumpkin. This empty half we're gonna to use to make our bird feeder. So I'm gonna take two strings or ropes. I just kind of used what I had so you can do the same. Look around, see what you might be able to find. And we're gonna tie them together in the center. This is kind of a skinny little piece of rope. You might find something a little thicker. And we're gonna place it on the bottom of our pumpkin and take a thumbtack to push right through the middle of that knot to keep the rope firmly in place. Now we'll flip our pumpkin over and get all four ends to meet in the middle and we'll tie one more knot at the top. See? To make a hanging pumpkin. Might have to fiddle with it just a little bit, and that's okay. There we go. Now the birds are gonna need, if you notice the bird feeder, you may not be able to see it real well, but there's little pegs on bird feeders so the birds have a place to perch their feet while they reach for the seed. So you can find something that works well for you. Two dowel rods. I found two pencils that the erasers had broken off of and I thought, hey, that's a good way to... I think a bird could perch on a pencil. We'll find out. Improvise. Now we have our pumpkin and our perches and the last step is to take some black our black oiled sunflower seed. We'll fill up the pumpkin and then I'm going to go hang it up. So once you've hung your new bird feeder, you may have to get, give the birds a few days to find the new source of nourishment. But once you do, enjoy the show. Spend some time just observing. Notice what different types of birds come to your bird feeder. See if you can count how many different species you see. Maybe set a timer for 15 minutes and just watch every day. Oh, look, here comes one now. I think that's a white-breasted nuthatch. Oh, and there's another. So, oh, a tufted titmouse. <laughs> So it may take you a little bit of time to get to know them by name, but maybe you could find a field guide or there's so many online resources. Cornell University and Project Feeder Watch have great tools to help you learn about the birds. Pay attention to their sizes, their shapes, the colors, the sounds of their song. Do they come in groups or do they seem to kind of travel solo? I hope you have a great time watching the birds 
and learning how you can take care and protect this earth to share with all of the beautiful species that we share it with. Take care. Bye-bye. We'll see you next week to find out about Flute's journey back from South America to the Appalachian woodlands that we share. Oh, there's a beauty there. Oh, <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs>